every person alive has its own loa rasin is the same as a, you know a protective angel and fun fact is you can have many loas that work with you usually it's up to three and something that is very interesting is you may be a boko you may already be an ogre but you don't even know it okay <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to know which voodoo loi or voodoo spirit works with you. And before we go further into the video, I would like to thank all of you guys who subscribe to my channel, always like my videos, and always leave comments. And to those who haven't yet, I invite you to do so because this is a way you can support me if you're into what I'm doing. There's a video that I did which title is The Divisions of Loa in Haitian Voodoo. In that video, we covered many subjects, but specifically we talked about different types of names any loa can have depending on the relationship that you have with that loa. I am going to go over this a little bit so that you can fully understand the context of this video. Remember that I told you any loa can be a loa racine, a loa ashti, or a loa mete depending on the relationship that you have with that loa. Well, in this video, we're gonna focus more about the loa racine. Okay, so if you're interested in knowing the meaning of the loa method and loa ashti, you can go and watch the other video after watching this video. A loa racine is basically a loa inherited from your family, or it can also be your own personal loa. Every person alive has its own loa racine. It's the same as a, you know, a protective angel. So you have it, but you may not even know that you have it. And a lot of time, your own loa may be communicating with you without you even notice it. And a lot of time, you may do stuff your loa may not agree with you, or you act against its will, okay, or you do stuff that are against its nature. So in those times, he warns you, he gives you signs, but you just don't really pay attention to him. So he steps back and lets you do your thing, because he's not gonna convince you to listen to him or force himself upon you. So you may see that I use a lot of he, she, or it when I'm talking about the loa. It's because the loa, they don't really have genders, okay? They are energy. But we give them those attributes so that we can understand them better. So I'm just gonna say he, use he when I'm not talking about a specific loa. And fun fact is you can have many loas that work with you. Usually it's up to three. I'm not aware if it can be more than that. There are many methods to know which loa that work with you. Okay, and it's always good to go to someone you know that is wiser, someone that has experiences to ask for help and to ask for guidance. Our loa is always talking to us, okay? So we have to pay attention to it. The method that I'm gonna tell you today, the method that we're gonna use is that that's gonna help you, you know, focus this communication so that you can understand better, so that you can understand things clear with a clear mind. So be willing, be aware, be positive, be attentive because you're going to invite, establish a clear communication with your loi. So take a specific night that you feel ready to do this. Dress in all white clothes. Take a meditation position or any position that you feel comfortable in. You're gonna light a candle and put it by your side and take a glass of water and put it by your side. The light and candle is to welcome the loa, welcome the spirit. And the glass of water, it symbolizes purification. It's to purify your path. It's to make your path clear so that you don't invite any spirits, but you are inviting good spirits, you know? And in the meditation position, you're gonna talk with your loa, okay? You're gonna talk with your loa with your own 
words okay you're gonna invite him you know to establish a communication with you to reveal itself to you you can stay in that position as long as you want and after that you can go to bed but remember to sleep alone that night without any partner and do something that is very meaningful okay you take a perfume and spray it over your head because the loi love perfumes okay I feel like I need to do a specific video talking about perfumes guys because uh, I feel like you need to know the magical you know benefit of using perfumes that same night you should have a sign from the loi of your head okay you should feel something or know something or just know more than you did before okay and remember whatever the outcome you need to talk with someone that is wiser someone that has more experiences in voodoo okay to help you to guide you okay and something that is very interesting is you may be a boko you may already be an uga but you don't even know it okay you don't even know it because you don't have someone you know that has knowledge that has experiences you know to help you to tell you things that you don't know about yourself this is it guys this is the video thank you so so much for watching my videos okay thank you so much okay thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel channel and thank you for liking my videos for leaving comments and the most important things if you ever done it to do is to click the notification button so that YouTube may notify you whenever I upload a video feel free to tell me what you think about the video and feel free to share what you know okay about the subject and see you in another video <laughs>